Look, guys, I'm hungover today, okay? I Why? I cannot because I drank too much last night. Oh. That makes Pretty sense. simple yeah. consequence, of, <laughs> I mean, consequence yeah. of very obvious actions <laughs> taken. I drank too much last night, and so I'm hungover. But I'm trying, all right? I'm trying to be high energy, okay? I got you. Oh, boy. Well, let, me, let, let me explain to you guys what happened last time on Fetty Scum. Wait, Adam, before you do that, I mean, if, if you want to switch, you know, I can be the high energy person, but it, actually, what am I kidding? <laughs> yeah, that's... uh. Mm -mm. I don't have it in me. Nah, you get a little too crazy. <laughs> Our dream of true freedom for all space noids. We will sever the evil hold of the Earth with our sword of justice. Everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fetty Scum. Let me catch us up to what happened last, last <laughs> time on Fetty Scum. Last, for, last time. For the crew. Yeah, you got a code, 257, and told to uh, escape to the hangar. And uh, Benny the chef, uh, well, the assistant chef, helped uh, break you guys out. And Another you guys guy. kind of, uh, Nihilus ran off and killed a guy brutally. You got you all got guns and you got hard suits and you are heading to the hangar on the Takarabune before everyone gets back from lunch from what you hear. But uh, prior to you, like on your way, you started to hear a lot of people walking and moving around. And now currently alarms start blaring over oh, the ship. Always. Oh, God. So, yeah, my notes are. Number 257 code. Yes. Benny Chef. Nihilus Crazy. Let's go. <laughs> no. Wee woo. Oh shit. There you go. Perfect. That's that's that amazing. Was, that's well, you take notes? <laughs> you take notes? Hold on. Oh yeah. I'm trying to be responsible this time. Oh my god. Right? All right. <laughs> this isn't Lone wee Star. Wee I can't I can't just be willy-nilly. <laughs> yeah, no, he's the leader of your squad. He's the de facto that's right. leader yeah, of your squad. He stepping up I keep these notes in my my golden star book. I keep all my notes in here. All right. Well, you guys are hightailing it to the hangar. Now alarms are going off. You're prepared for this. You got guns. You got hard suits. But on your way to the hangar, you kind of realize that these alarms aren't for you. As the ship begins to shake, y'all are in battle. Oh, well, damn. Better fit. The Takarabune is in battle. And we are in the Takarabune. Yeah. Yeah. So through the transitive property, yes, we are the in transitive battle. Party, you are in battle, but specifically the Takarabune is in battle. And, right, uh... Right. Yeah, you see people rushing to the battle stations back from like the uh, the cafeteria and such, and not much attention is being paid to you guys. It looks like you might just be able to God. mosey on over to the hangar without much of an issue. Are we wearing the hot suits? Yes. Yeah. They have helmets and shit. Yes. They got helmets. They got magnetic boots. They got some armor to prevent you from being shot and air coming out of your suit uh, or getting hit with like a small, you know, minuscule pe pebble and all of your air venting out. You know, that space horror shit. Yeah, well, let's worry about that when we get there, okay? Yeah. All right, guys, suit up. Let's try to make our way through this crowd. I don't think they'll be paying any attention to us. Hell yeah, that means we can get in and out. Smooth sailing. Nothing wrong could possibly happen. Absolutely. Never smooth sailing with us. Come on. <laughs> I don't like how you're talking, Pan says. Oh, no, everything's going to be just fine. It sounds like you expect something to happen, like you played this oh, mission no, before. of course not. What? Really? Really? You think that? You think that? For real? That's crazy. I'll have you know that I'm kind of the best 
and nothing bad ever happens to me because I'm so qualified. The more you say that, the least I believe it. Oh my um, fucking god! Uh, <laughs> so you continue down the hallway, and you're walking alongside of uh, one of the uh, the macro batteries, uh, which are the guns positioned on the the side of the ship that fires, you know, sideways. And you know, you have a variety of small little rooms with people in them firing their guns and cannons off. Uh, in a direction of an enemy and through these little port windows, you can see that it's a Federation ship, a Salamis that is in combat. <laughs> there are mobile suits fighting outside too. Oh fuck. Aww, oh, shit, it's I really wanna heating be up out there. Where the mobile suits are. <laughs> <laughs> well then move your ass. Let's get going. I wanna be out there fighting. You're moving your ass <laughs> to the hallway, and as you come to a juncture, a second party joins you. It's uh, three guys, one being led by someone who, uh, they're all in hard suits, uh, but being led by someone who's in a hard suit that has some decoration on it. Cat, roll me a keen and an awareness. Is this because I love a man in uniform? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. This is unrelated to uniform fetishes. <laughs> okay. I mean, is it a uh, nice looking uniform? Is it... Yeah. I mean, he's decorated. Uh, it's, it sounds it's, it's hot. A hard, it's a hard suit, but it's just decorated to show that he is important. Even in the hard suit, he has some degree of rank on the Takarabune, which means he's probably one of the, you know, the legendary aces of the of, of the ship. You know? Okay, so he's got an incredible body. Yeah, one success. I did that. One success. You don't recognize him immediately, but as soon as you catch a glimpse of the face through the little mask of the hard suit, you do. It, it, it dawns on you. You've seen this man before when you were trying to plant a bomb. <laughs> oh, the smooth talker, like, uh, cigarette guy. Yes, he has no cigarette now because he's in a hard suit, and that would be a bad time to have <laughs> he's it. Fucking, <laughs> yeah, so phone. fucking hot boxing himself. <laughs> Did I ever smoke that? <laughs> his uh, his, his lips almost seem pursed in a in a way as if it expects a cigarette to be there. He needs something in his mouth. He needs <laughs> something. <laughs> he may or may not need something in his mouth. <laughs> Capri, pay no mind to the orally fixated gentleman. You recognize him <laughs> as, um, and he gave you his name earlier, as uh, the man known as Adam Stingray. Uh, Pan yeah. begins to look nervous and kind of elbows Rocco Schlint. And uh, he whispers to you, that's that's one of the aces. And he, he looks at the guy. Yeah, just calm down. Don't Don't pay much attention to him. Just keep walking. He kind of slinks back, trying not to be recognized. I try to walk in front of him a little bit just to, to cover him up. Now, you are the one who is carrying Benny, right? Yes, he's on my back. Right. Stingray turns to you. What happened to the kid? Uh, he seems to have gotten injured. Not sure how. So we're taking him to get some help. Right. Uh, Med Bay's the other way. You know that, right? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Of course. All right. Fuck. Hold on. <laughs> I'm readying my gun. Like, put my <laughs> finger on the trigger. I'm going to roll for him. That's uh, a massive success. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, man. I want to roll to look around me and see if there's a, a room nearby I can try and bullshit as if I'm trying to stop by there real quick. I need to go to the uh, uh, looks around. Give me a keen and awareness roll. Wow. I have one success. All right. Well, you are close to like the supply room. Oh, okay. Yeah, shit. I'll just say I'm getting supplies. <laughs> um, yeah, we just need to get some supplies first. Then we're on our way. It seems you misread his own suspicion. He's not looking at you suspiciously. He's looking at Capri. Uh -oh. He's recognized you. Oh, fuck. Uh-uh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> wait, wait, aren't you? He says... And then suddenly, there's an explosion. Exactly where, uh, like, on the macro batteries behind you. And the side of the ship opens up into the void oh, of space. Oh, come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're being sucked out. You were being sucked out. Um, oh, tell me how you want to deal with being sucked out into space. And I will tell you what to roll. The idea is to not <laughs> be sucked out into space, by the way. Oh, of course. The idea, the, idea, the idea is to avoid that. 
Uh, okay, I'll go first. I'm going to frantically look around to see if I can grab something while I try to activate my Mac boots. Okay, all right. So I get like right. three points of contact with my feet and like at least one arm. One arm. It's okay. Uh, yeah, no, simple, keen and awareness. Uh, turning on the Mac boots isn't much of an issue. Um, it's the grabbing onto something that is more of an issue. By the way, we are here with your luck points. I have, um, I may have used a lot of them. <laughs> what? <laughs> so open the side of the ship. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's good for us. Yeah, I think we're Hell split yeah. down the middle nice. now with six. Yeah. I need to hit an eight. I rolled a nine. <laughs> Fuck this. Damn. Well, you can always spin the, you can always spin a narrative point. Do a retcon. The third option means I get a like effectively a plus one, yes? Third option, yes. So that'll give you one degree of success pretty much, because there's no like zero. There's no yeah, 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 yeah. I'm spending it on that. One success. Uh you nice. see a a piece of support that uh is meant for like the exterior armor of the ship as you are being sucked out. You grab it, pull yourself, kind of like with the momentum of the uh, of the vacuum being emptied, uh, turning on both your magnetic boot bottoms and punk punk on the outside of the ship's hull. All right, <laughs> Capri, how are you dealing with the deadly vacuum of space? Uh, I'm gonna also grab onto something and then I'm gonna like just shout really fast, like, um, we gotta stop meeting like this. <laughs> this is not the time for chance encounters, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. We gotta stop meeting like this. Space. Bye. Woo. And she <laughs> dies. Uh, no, roll me again. Roll me a keen and awareness. I was just hoping that something smooth would happen, so I could just remain this like cool mystery woman, since that seems to be well, like what I got going for me. Now you, now you have something very cool happen: an explosion in the void of space. <laughs> I, very I deadly. Mean, <laughs> very mysterious. So sexy. All right. You said keen and awareness. <laughs> Keen yes. and awareness. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I rolled a 12, and I need a 5. Oh, that's oh. horrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> you want to use one of those uh, tokens we got? Uh, I got it, right? So as you fumble, you you, you try to grab a piece of, uh, of wreckage. You grab it, it kind of flips up and flings out with you. Um, oh, it shit. Has, it has no structure behind it. But suddenly... Your arm is grabbed by Adam Stingray. Oh, God. This sounds romantic, but it shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be holding you in place. You don't understand exactly how he is held in place at the moment. It's very confusing. He seems to be just floating in the void of space. Oh, God. Oh. Nice for you. All right. <laughs> Some ace piloting right there. Just floating. <laughs> piloting it's his body. It's like, yes. what team am I on again? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to grab on extra tight to little Benny here. Uh-huh. And who's near me? Is there anyone next to me? Pan is hiding behind you or was. Okay. He's fucking dead. Up <laughs> yeah, he's fucking dead. Please. Next, uh, next question. Are there any, uh, like, metallic objects fastened to the the ship i mean there's plenty of metallic objects fastened to the ship the ship is a metallic object well yeah i mean like any protrusions like uh furniture or anything like that on the outside the walls oh the you inside, mean on the, the inside like in, no you were in a hallway there's no like nailed down furniture here in the hallway jesus okay i'm gonna hold on extra tight to little benny here turn around grab pan activate grab boots and just try my best to grab onto the nearest thing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> How many arms do you have? <laughs> That's. Uh, I mean, you can uh, honestly, you could hold Benny like in in an arm and grab something with that same arm. I, he, he 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 a small lad. Well, can I can I grab Pan and Benny and just use my grab boots and try to? You could try, but grab boots are meant for like the moment, like for for one person. So it, they could give. Yeah, I imagine I'd be like being pulled and sliding a bit. Yeah, and and I want to try and hold, grab both of them and slide uh, into some form of resistance, any kind of you know object that I can slide into to stop me from flying out the hole. Right. Um, I'm gonna say that this is not like a keen and awareness looking for an object to grab. This is more of like a grit and your athletics buying you time while you inevitably find something to grab. So give me 
a grit and athletics while you kind of strong arm pan as he almost gets sucked out of the ship like ah! and you grab him <laughs> and the comatose benny uh you bring them yes. both close and the grab boots are on and you are sliding along or trying to prevent you know just you know stressing uh your leg muscles and your prosthetic as much as you can to kind of go against the the vacuum that is uh sucking you out and i want to use my, a plus two I want to use one of our tokens to do a plus two before the roll is made. Wow, y'all only have one, but go for it. Oh, I thought we had two left. You have two left, but this would give you one. But now we have one. Yeah, now you have one. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I didn't even need it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Might have killed us, but... <laughs> I made a very impossible roll and, and matched it. Four for four. I only have four... Uh, <laughs> uh, what's it? I have four grit and zero athletics. Wow. All right, you grab both of them, and while, like, bracing yourself as best you can with the mag boots, despite being, you know, slightly sliding out of the ship, you manage to find, like, a support beam that is uh, still intact, even though the wall and structure around it is not. And with the other two in tow, you kind of wrap yourself around the support beam, kind of with them, and so, like, Pan is also helping you hold on to Benny and also holding onto the support beam. Cool, that's what I was hoping for. I was like, he's gonna help. So I'm just gonna, I just have to slide into the nearest object. He's not completely useless. Uh, he uh, he isn't useless, but he is uh, screaming his fucking guts out. Holy shit, fuck, God damn it! fuck, holy shit. <laughs> I don't wanna die. Take it easy, just hold on. It's gonna be fine, don't let go. All right. Make him shut up. Nihilus, Capri, are you guys okay? Can I see them at all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're both an eye shot. You can see them. Them all. I don't know yet. Pre, <laughs> uh, you can I'm see sorry. that uh, that Adam it has somehow secured himself to one of the you know little railings of the hallway that are meant to have like a handhold that kind of traverses you along the hallway in zero G. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. He's somehow hooked himself with that on the back which is connected to a harness that is on his hard suit and that is what is like preventing him from flying out he holds out his other hand to grab yours to kind of you know help pull you in more i i i don't i can't even believe this is happening to me right now like i don't know <laughs> I'm very, con I'm very conflicted. Take my hand. I mean, like, can I even trust you? What's there to trust? You're about to be thrown out into space. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> well, once you grab his other hand, he kind of uh, like pulls you in a bit. Close to his chest. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that you can kind of grab one arm singular and he turns around with the arm that he pulled you in with and begins pulling himself by that rope back toward like the other side of the undestroyed hallway. I'm never leaving this place. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Capri is, I am pirate oh, now. No. <laughs> I'm pirate now. Oh, no. I think, I don't know, we'll see. Why did Pan leave okay? this place? I don't know, I'm, I'm getting like, what, what was her name from Zeta? Rekua? Rekua vibes? Yeah. <laughs> don't know if those are good vibes exactly. No, I know, I know, yeah, we'll see. We'll fill it out. <laughs> All right, um, now, <laughs> Nihilus and, 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 and group of three people stuck together holding beam. You guys, go on and save yourselves. <laughs> uh, how do you plan Thanks. to get yourself back into the ship? By the way, the battle outside is raging. It is not what you would want to be sucked into space-wise. It's e even space is relatively unsafe. This space, ungodly unsafe. There's beam shots, there's explosions, there's mines going off. Uh, mobile suits are like shooting across, like fighting in close combat you know, getting Fantastic. dangerously close to the ship. And the macro batteries along your side, even though the, the place has been like, you know, the vacuum has rushed all the air out. A lot of these macro batteries, I guess the rooms have shut and locked down with the bulkheads and are still firing very close to you, which is shaking the ship. <sighs> okay. Time for me to get out my grappling hook. You've had that this whole time? <laughs> that I've had this whole time. <laughs> Oh, do you, you know, actually I'll... have a grappling hook? I don't doubt no, it. No, we did. We actually... <laughs> did we? I mean, I knew that. I don't remember uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. <laughs> did we have a grappling hook? I felt like we needed one. 
what to get on the ship we we packed some just um, in case it would make sense <laughs> that you might have the zero g like navigation hook things yes maybe but these aren't your hard suits this wouldn't be your gear so uh, uh roll a d6 shit. for me on a one through three you get it on a <laughs> four through six you don't oh come on i'm gonna give the same uh, benefit to nihilus six i rolled a six nihilus oh yeah okay, okay i'll roll, roll two. see if you get one i'm a king of rolling low i got a two cool hell yeah dude what did pan roll what did what did pan roll oh, let me let me roll for pan let me see what pan did Pan rolled a five. He doesn't have one either. Uh, let me roll for Benny. Benny, wake up. <laughs> Benny rolled a four. He also does not have one. Oh, my God. God damn it. You tried. <laughs> you, you really tried. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nihilus, if you want to use that zero G grappling hook to pull yourself in, I won't even make you roll for it, honestly, outside of having it. You can just shoot at a wall and pull yourself in. It's not a hard shot by any means. Yeah, after looking around for a bit, I remember that I have this thing. So uh, I do just that. Awesome. You pull yourself to the wall. You are now on the wall with both Adam Stingray and Capri Sun. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh... <laughs> a li a living, <laughs> not dying. That's about it. <laughs> Adam Stingray goes to his hip with one of his hands that are free. And he grabs a grappling hood uh, object and he shoots at the three of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is uh, this so cool? I got a little twitchy Thank there, you. bud. Uh, with some degree uh. of effort, he manages to pull, you know, the, the, the group of three back towards the Yeah, I imagine the, the ship that Nihilus well. and, and Capri help. Yeah, it, the, the little engine on the gun probably could not pull that <laughs> much weight. And so, uh, yeah, you're probably pulling it in manually. But once all of you uh, get your feet back in the hallway, you know, the air has been vented. There's no force that, uh, no great force that's pulling you out. With the mag boots on, it is no longer super difficult to navigate. The door to the next room is open. Uh, and as you slowly trod with plunking steps uh, deeper into the Takare Bune, the door shuts into this new room that is no longer exposed to space. The vacuum begins uh, resetting itself. Emergency lights are on in this room. It's very red. difficult to see. They are red. They're flashing? They are flashing. <laughs> you once again can hear the siren as air begins to fill the room again and sound begins to become able to travel. Does it, does it make like a sound as the air comes in? Yeah, it does. It yeah. does. Wow. Dallas add that. Dallas add all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> all oh, right. Boy. Okay. Uh, Ugh, thank you for the help. God damn. Yeah, I'm watching this, crazy. this Stingray guy. I'm watching him. Everybody okay? Adam Stingray uh, takes off his helmet. And he 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 kind of sits down, kind of against a wall. Ah, uh, yeah, no, not that okay. Uh, and you can see that a piece of metal has like stabbed him in his stomach. Oh shit! Oh my god! Not like super bad, but it's not great either. Um, it it, it could be it, you know you've seen people die from shit like this. Oh so, no! Um, All right, let's help him out. I'm looking around for medical supplies. Let's do what? Funnily enough, you were in the supply room. Hell yeah, we did it. Can, 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 can I have a can I have a word, sir? Sir, can I can I have a word with you? Yeah, yeah. What's up? I pull him to the side. What's up, Nihilus? Sir, that's that is our enemy. He's one of the aces. I'm aware of that, but he saved our asses. Okay. Yeah, I just think in long term, long term thinking, it would be better for us if he's out of the picture. I I I, I gotta agree. That's that's. That's Adam fucking Stingray. He's one of the best aces that the Federation had. He I understand that, but there's no fucking honor in that. What are we, a bunch of pussies? Never mind. Don't answer that. Don't answer I'm that. helping. I'm, I don't. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you're you're pretty decided on this, uh, Schlunt. And the name Stingray kind of rings a bell with you. You kind of know that he's a one year war vet. You've heard the name thrown around before. You don't know much about the man, nor kind of what he looks like but you remember hearing it's some things about him in association with like a a unit called like the halloween unit or something you're not quite sure 
you know, fuzzy memory, lots of fun groups going around in that one year war. So, you know, who knows? Right, right, right. Um, but he was a he was a Federation ace. Now he's on this pirate oh. ship. But I'm I'm aware of all this. My character knows this. Yeah, your character is somewhat okay. aware of this vaguely. Like you you've heard oh, the name okay. before. You know you've known of this ace. You may not know specifically what he's done or who he is or whether or not he's a good guy or not. I mean, he's a pirate now. You know that much. But he didn't yeah. save you. So, man. Well, I'm going to the wall, leaning against it, and I'm readying my rifle, <laughs> just watching this. At Stingray. Well, not at him, just, you know, at the ready. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Uh, Commander, how can I help? I guess you can help me wrap up this wound. <sighs> yeah, take it easy. This is going to uh, <laughs> sting a little. <laughs> you <get> Fuck it. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, no, I heard that one a lot. So uh, thanks, I guess, for that oh, joke. This happens a lot. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I've, I've Should been, be more I've careful. I've been wounded quite a bit. All right. Uh, for the medical test. No. Uh... <laughs> I want you to roll poise and medicine. Uh, all of us or just, just Rocco? Uh, anyone who wants to assist. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> all right. Oof. How many degrees of failure, Rocco? Uh, three. I have right. two. Fails. Two degrees of failure? Yeah. Right. Jeez. Uh pa Pan Oof. is also assisting. Uh he doesn't do much better. He only gets one success. So y'all 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 gingerly kind of pull out the thing. It seems like he's bleeding a lot. You apply pressure. You do the basics. Um <laughs> Sorry about that, Stingray. I'm still a little shooken up after, uh, you know, almost getting sucked out of the ship. Ah, uh, nah, it's fine. Another scar for the collection. Oh you're, you're welcome. So you, so you have a lot of scars? <laughs> yeah, I earned a, oh my god. Yeah, I earned my fair share. Uh, maybe I'll show you sometime. That's cool. Oh. oh. Okay, take it easy, everyone. <laughs> the one way out of here, that's not the way you came, uh, that goes kind of long ways down the Takarabune toward the hangar. Uh, there's a bulkhead there. It seems to be locked, and Pan is observing it. Uh, after a bit, he'll he returns to Rocco and uh uh, m m Mr. Slint, it's uh, this door seems to be uh, you know, bulkhead locked. Uh, when the damage to the ship came in, the door came down. I, I, I think I can get it open, but it'll it'll take some time. It's not it's not like the other door that I got open. All right, well, let's give it a shot. He goes to the door and begins working on that. Meanwhile, Stingray is eyeballing Nihilus. Oh, I'm eyeballing back. <laughs> it's a chance. Still a rifle in front of me, hands on it, just glaring at him. He gets a smirk across his face and kind of reaches into his pocket, pulls out a cigarette, lights it. <sighs> What's the sour expression for? You think I'm going to put you guys back in prison? I won't let you. Look, y'all you can relax, all right? I know who you are. I, uh gonna let you guys get out of here oh, forgive me but i don't trust the words of a pirate yeah not even the one that gave you the code to the hangar that was you yeah yeah that was mm. me fuck why would you do that Ooh. <laughs> <A development>. <laughs> <laughs> me and a few people on board were working for anaheim look it's huh. it's pretty complicated i'm not gonna get in the specifics but the feds are meeting with the Republic of Zeon. Some big trade deal of theirs going down, and the Republic of Zeon's bringing a, a mountain of fucking gold to seal the deal. <sighs> the hardliners in the Federation don't want the deal to go through. Good for the Republic, bad for the Federation. But, uh, you know, everyone wants the gold still. So, uh, Anaheim's put a few of its test pilots, you know. Get a hold of that gold before it changes hands. Deal falls through. Anaheim gets the gold. Well, good luck. <laughs> They're kind of slimy, huh? <laughs> he coughs up a good amount of blood. Oh, oh that's no. Not, that's not good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, just, uh, you know, you got you got an escape shuttle to get off of here, all right? So, uh, look away. Don't come back. Get about all this. If everything goes out the way uh, it's supposed to, or get the gold, do will fall through. Mission accomplished, and you won't hear anything about this. What about the plan that our, our friend here has told us about? 
Pan's like, you know, he, he stopped working on the door. He's been listening to Adam Stingray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what, 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 what about, uh, what, what, what about that operation that I, that I heard about? Use your outside voice. Come on. Your outside voice? You what? You know, loud, a little bit of confidence. Uh, yeah, speak up. I heard the captain when bringing her her favorite wine one night, talking with some Xeon extremists about an operation that that it's supposed to be like another colony drop or something. What about yeah, that? Yeah, know about all that. Oh my god, he actually did it. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Stingray kind of, you know, looks to to Pan. Uh, and kind of just casually shrugs. I don't know anything about that, all right? I'm here to do a specific thing, <coughs> and that's steal this gold for Anaheim, for the Federation. So off the books up. Whatever else they're up to, whatever the actual loyal members of this ship's up to, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're up to something. Maybe there is another big attack coming. Maybe that's what this trade deal's all about. Who knows? Positioning, politics, it's a, it's a fucking headache, if I'm gonna be honest. <coughs> hmm. uh, are, are you gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be fine. Uh, but if I'm not, uh, could you deliver a message for me? Uh, um, okay, yeah, I, I could do that. Maybe. <sighs> Yeah, come here. Come here pretty closely. Uh, okay. <laughs> he puts out one of his hands, waiting for your hand. Okay. You put your hand on his hand? Yes, I do, yes. I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> he puts his other hand on top of that hand. <gasps> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is kind of weird. <laughs> he then looks you in the eyes and says, Find a Anaheim test pilot. Name Jack Bayard. Tell him I tried. Tell him I'd give everything to see him once again. Uh, okay. <laughs> he pats her hand <laughs> and then lets her uh... hand go. I'm probably gonna be fine though. He stands up. I whisper in Capri's ear. I think he's gay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> Sorry. <for> your <laughs> loss. Oh. I slide away. <laughs> yeah. You moonwalk away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a, a single tear starts rolling down on my cheek. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> New patrons, Gatsu E23, Nori, Ben the Murph, and Bing. <sighs> Heard these assholes got a new audio drama coming out. <sighs> Midland IA, Patriot Exclusive, <sighs> sequel <coughs> to that two cops, one case bullshit they played in RPG stress test. <sighs> it's improvised and written, a mixture of both. And picture some asshole called Adam. <laughs> I know you love it when that motherfucker's included. <laughs> he was also in The Great British Jake Off recently, which is uh, the newest episode of Stress Test just dropped. So, how about you check it out <sighs> before I check you out? <laughs> All right, uh, Pan successfully opens the door to the hangar. Well, the door to the pathway that will lead you guys yes. to the hangar. The rest awesome. of the ship isn't, like, locked down. The emergency lights are on, but, like, also the regular lights are on. Uh, and so it looks like you're back into, you know, your normal method of traversing the ship, you know, without explosions and being, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, For now. Uh, spaced. For now. Great work, Pan. I'll go out the room last, backwards, watching Stingray. I'm trying to like. He 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 kind of you know he keeps eyes on you the entire time, <laughs> uh, and then right before you turn to leave, he makes a finger gun at you and says, "Bang!" 
Mm, I don't really react to that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna like, wave, like, uh, bye. bye. He nods. I nod at him as well. All right, I want to shoot something. I want to kill something. This, did, this was not exciting hey, for me. Calm down. Take it easy. We just almost got sucked out of the ship. Well, someone doesn't take rejection well. He saved. <laughs> I mean, did you see how he saved my life, though? Uh, you guys yep. saw that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yep. And then he, uh, then he saved our lives too. Yeah, he kind of saved most of us, actually. Yeah, but me first. Okay. <laughs> I, man, if I had known about Adam Stingray, if he was like. Never mind. I just do not have luck, is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you you are you are 0 for two here in the yeah, quest game. Yes. <laughs> you gotta make your own luck. Well, you know, I'm a very I'm an opportunist, okay, and it hasn't worked out for me. <laughs> just be true to who you are, and I'm sure you're fine. Someone. Uh huh. Yeah. Have you talked to her? She should not be true to who she is. And <laughs> yeah, maybe a toned down version of hey. who you are. That that might be better. Maybe like a five on a scale of a ten. Let that inner freak out after you know you get you get used to him. He knows you and he's kind of committed. Yeah, trap him. Be a horrible person. Right, right. I mean, you're gonna have to. No, I'm just going to be a hundred percent myself, and I'm gonna beat the crap out of all of you and everything I do. Okay. And then whoever is the least intimidated by me at the end will maybe win. Yeah, it seems like it's going pretty well for you so far, right? It's it's their contest, not mine now, okay? Okay. Huh. Yeah, no thanks. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunities in the future. Plenty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about me. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, you successfully reach the hangar. And approaching the bay that uh, apparently Stingray directed you to back in the cell secretly, you find an escape shuttle. A fairly simple, small thing. Uh, it's not too impressive or too underwhelming. It has really no weapons on it outside of maybe a basic defense turret. Turret? Torrent. Turret? Turret. Turret. <laughs> Torrance. Hmm. I'm. Are you okay? <laughs> He's basic... struck it out. <laughs> something. Uh, something happened. Uh, basic <laughs> defense guns. There we go. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of you know it's locked in place. Uh, but you know w with like the right launching protocols, you should be able to launch in this and escape the Takarabune. The hangar's pretty busy. People or mechanics are running around. Mobile suits are coming in and out of the hangar to be repaired or relaunching after reloading. And the explosions and shakes are still going on throughout the ship outside. Uh, this part of the ship, once again, has no air or in low gravity. So you're back in kind of uh, this uh, soundless void of a hangar. Only the kathunk kathunk of our mag boots. Pretty much. I just feel like it'd be some kind of weird ethereal, like, orchestral song playing or something. I don't know. I don't know if we're that classy. What are the uh, piloting stats? What are the piloting stats? Generally, maneuver for stuff that's going to be, like, a little bit crazier. Uh -huh. For general stuff, is going to be operate. Okay, I have a three in both. Just saying. Yeah. Pretty good. I know. I've got your character sheets. Oh, he's, fucking, stalker. he's peeking again. He's peeking. Look, look, he's he's your commander. He would have a rough roundabout <laughs> idea of what you're good yeah, at and what you're bad at. I have at. your file that I keep yeah. referring to. Yeah, well, I feel like you never read mine, so. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm reading it now. Oh, okay. And I'm putting attitude problem. <laughs> What's <laughs> <new>? <laughs> uh Benny starts screaming and kicking on your shoulder. Whoa. Uh. Benny, Benny, what's wrong? Oh, uh, I, I try to set him down. He's coming too, basically. He's just confused. I get startled and aim at him. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Pan, Pan kind of uh, rushes over to him and is like, "Hey, hey, Benny, it's okay. It's okay. We uh, we're, we're on our way out. All right, just you know, quiet down." Yeah, you somehow slept through the craziest part. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> you're, you're very lucky. Oh, th th thank God. I, I I don't know <laughs> if I could m m m m make it uh, through all that. Hey, you're a brave <laughs> kid. You saved our lives back there. You helped us escape. Don't sell yourself short. We haven't escaped yet. He kind of nods. He's, he, he, you can tell he's proud of himself for saving you guys. That was really cool what you did. You can do this. Now calm down. Let's just keep moving. We're about to get out of here. Uh, uh, all right. 
Do you want to still ride on my back or can you walk? I, uh, I, I can walk. Okay. I'm going to go to Nihilus. Like, Nihilus, did you know that he was like that nice? Not that I remember. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> That's all. I just wanted Vinny to... Vinny is an actual <laughs> child. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> I, I, I... Vinny is like... Ar Vinny well, is why like, is he laboring? Vinny is like Armuro age. <laughs> you he's see like, all the shit that Armuro did? Come on. I know, he's you, like... You guys want me to treat you like Vinny over here? Vinny. Is that why you guys act like you're his age? Is that what it is? <laughs> uh, you didn't hear what I was saying. This was an A-B conversation. See your way out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pan has opened the door to the escape <laughs> shuttle. Guys, it looks clear. I don't see anything in here. All right, Capri. Uh -huh. You want to help me co-pilot this thing? Yeah. Nihilus. Yes. Nihilus, you got the turret? They got it. Nihilus seems to be pretty good at shooting things. I will give him props on that. Yeah, we've we've noticed that. <laughs> it's my little bloodthirsty friend back there. We are friends, right? <laughs> uh I just grunt as I climb to the turret well, seat. I think that if was you're a doing yes. what you love. You uh, never work a day in your life, so uh, <laughs> Nihilus, you get to kill people. All right. Uh, everyone gets in position in the shuttle. Uh, you shut the doors. You undo the safety hooks. There's still one that's remaining on the ship, and you can see that basically the bridge has to verify everyone who launches out of the hangar. So you're going to have to somehow get verified through the bridge. Uh, oh, to no. Access to leave. Both you guys are uh, you're piloting Rocco and Capri's in co-pilot seat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I listed in the turret seat. Turret seat, yes. Can you not say turret? Turret. Turret. <laughs> turret. No, there's no N in there. <laughs> turret? Turret. It's not, it's not like current. Yeah, it's like a turret. turret. Like, turret. Like turret, yes. Turret. 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 <laughs> turret. I think we should move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. no. They say stamina. St stamina. Whoa. <laughs> Stop! Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. He did it. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, you guys are going to the startup procedure. Uh, you're going to have to contact the bridge and uh, see what is required to, uh, to launch. All right. They answer you. Hey! Uh, we need your clearance code. Three digits. All right, just one second. You got that? Hey guys, it's, you think it's 257? Try it, try it, try it. Okay, uh, 257. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, last week's code. I'm sorry, you're, uh, you're not going to be able to launch. Ah, oh, shit. Look, just check with your CO and... And then there is on the door of the shuttle... Yeah. Uh, Open up. All right. Uh, Guys, be on guard. All right. Put, oh, okay. Every, I let him in. Grab a weapon. <laughs> the, uh, the door opens, and it is another man in a hard suit, decorated. A different man, though. This man's much uh, broader, uh, a bit bigger than Adam Stingray. Uh, he looks a lot older in the face as well. Hmm. He kind <laughs> of... Uh, <laughs> Stop him! What? what? Capri's <laughs> checking him out. It's like, hmm. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he also has two guys with him with guns, and oh. he also has a gun that is pulled and aimed at you guys. Uh, is there any way for us to just leave anyway? <laughs> you are kind of uh, hooked to your to your oh, spot until the bridge it. clears you. Shit. Anyways, uh, who opened the door again? I did. All right. It was him. <laughs> All right, step out here. We're going to have to talk and uh, do some searching. All right, what seems to be the <sighs> issue here? Yeah. From what I know, no one in this operation is supposed to be using this vessel. So what exactly do you think you guys are doing here? Um, uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead, dead. I believe that we were given orders to do a mission with this because of what's happening out there. And it's kind of hush hush because we're like, S what did you say? Someone else? 
Someone else add to this? Yes? Oh, my God. <laughs> we were given orders to take this ship, okay? They need assistance out there. We're bringing supplies. Yeah. Oh, this is going terribly. <laughs> so, um, Nihilus, from, oh your, from, from, from your cockpit area, you hear the, the radio from the bridge still being talked to through the cockpit. Uh, uh -huh. You know, still talking to a empty cockpit now with those two in the back talking to the, the, the man asking questions. Like, do you have your code yet? Do you have your new updated code yet? Look, I have a long list of people who need to launch. Hello? Roger, come on. Oh, Hello? Shit. <laughs> oh, what do I do here? The, the man holding you kind of loosely at gunpoint. Look, we had a prison break, all right? I don't care if there's a special mission going on here. I don't care what the other aces got up the sleeve. I'm Brennus fucking Ox, the one-shot killer, all right? Oh, fuck. Oh. That don't impress me much. Hey. That don't impress me. <laughs> you don't bullshit the ox, all right? <laughs> what the fuck kind of saying is that? It makes no sense. <laughs> You don't bullshit the ox? <laughs> Next to the ox, get the bullshit. <laughs> you don't bullshit the ox, okay? <laughs> Sorry, that was just hilarious. Yeah, I use that one all the time. Mess with the bull, you get the bullet, right? <laughs> yeah. That was way right. better, what the fuck? Yeah, that was like... Uh, I would take notes, if I were you, Mr. Ox. <laughs> Here, I'll let you keep that one. Yeah. Just uh, let us get out of here. <laughs> he writes no. it on his sticky note, puts it on his suit. No, you, I, uh... Damn it. I don't think I will let you guys go, you know? I, I'm i pretty sure one of the other aces let you guys out, and I'm not particularly interested in playing into their plot, whatever the fuck it is. Mission or not, for the captain or not, for the Xeon Gold or not, I don't really care. He seems to know a lot. The cockpit is still asking for someone. Yeah, dude. Hey, I... do, you, do you have a new code yet? Please just, if you don't, you need to forfeit your ability to launch. All right? I got people back up. How many guys are with him? It's two. So it's him plus two others. Can we not, can we really not take them? What's his name? His name is Brennus Ox. Actually, give me... <laughs> um, Oh shit. Keen probably and whatever your history would be. I would okay. say you probably read about him uh or heard about him in terms of like uh, uh aces and stuff. History? Where the fuck's that? So, yeah, yeah roll for history. There's mm. no history here. It's just in terms Oh, I of, thought you said roll for history. No, okay. in terms huh. of what in terms of what <laughs> you would know him from. He is an ace who was quite well known for his his keen aptitudes. So probably mm -hmm. uh, maybe came up in discussions with you about firearms. So give me keen and firearms to see if you oh, recognize yeah. the name when he said it. All right. Three successes. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, you know this ace. Y you know exactly who he is. He's supposed to be kind of dead, maybe. Apparently he's not. Hmm. Apparently he's right here fucking in front of you. Wait, holy shit. Brennus Ox, right? Yes, the one-shot <laughs> killer. He's a famous Xeon ace. Okay. Your war. Wait a second. Holy shit. Brennus Ox, you're supposed to be dead, aren't you? <sighs> what, are you new around here? Yeah. 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 Look, sometimes dead don't stick. All right? Not to argue or anything, but I'm pretty sure that dead is pretty permanent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Nihilus, the radio uh, going off. Yeah. Do you want? What do you want to do? I don't know what to do here. I guess do something. Do something. I don't, Anybody I don't lucky? Feeling have lucky? Any code. Oh, I don't feel very oh, lucky. Oh, I'm sorry. In this it games. was three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. I don't know. You want to be charming? You want to be smooching? You I don't think I'm very... very charming or smooth right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm stressed. You want to be very aggressive and angry with him? Maybe demand demand I entry? Do that. Right, right, okay. Sure. I, I finally notice the radio and I pick it up. Yes, bridge. Hello? Look, I don't want to hold you guys up here either, okay? But we, 
That's the only call we got, okay? Uh, we can't reach us, yo. He's probably out there getting shredded to bits. And, and, and you know, we need to get out there and, and, and help him. All right. I would say that's pretty uh, pleading in terms of that direction. It will probably be poise. Um, you are kind of, you know, giving logical, very short, realistic reasons that you would need to, you know, navigate protocol and, and you know, ignore bureaucracy. So let's say that's going to be poise. And what would we pair it up to? Deception. Poise and deception. <laughs> You have you do have three narrative points if you wish to give yourself a bonus. Oh, did you did you use some to bring this guy to us? Uh yes, yes I did. <laughs> right, I would need to hit a six if I just do it raw, but I think I'll use one for the plus two. I hit a five. I didn't even need it. God damn it. Hell That's yeah. Four successes. Just let me go and get out of your hair. Alright. Alright, fair enough. I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and green light you. And then you can hear him talking to someone in the background. And he's like, what the f what do you mean fucking Ox want us to hold? And on the other end, you can see Ox like talking on through his headset to the bridge. Don't fucking let him go. OK, you hear me? You fucking hear me, you bastards. Hey, take it easy. OK, he seems to treat you guys well. And then on the on on, Niles, on, on your side, you, you, you hear, you know, like, that that fucking asshole really he, he's trying to tell us how to do our job and then through the radio a third voice cuts in oh my god <laughs> uh it, it's a yeah. voice of someone who sounds a lot younger and he's like will you please just let them fucking go who's holding this up and then uh Brennis's voice kind of chimes up you know it's me i'm investigating the prisoners going in the and then he gets cut off immediately don't give a shit. I can't launch into my battlefield. And then you hear Bridge say like, Mansfield get the go ahead. Mansfield get the go ahead. And then you, <laughs> see, you hear the locks disengage <laughs> under the uh, escape pod shuttle thing. Escape shuttle. The door is still open. You are still talking to him, but uh, you're no longer locked in. You can just leave. Right. Wow. Well, this has been real, but it hasn't been real fun. So, All right, are you gonna get out of our way? It seems like it's time for oh, us to leave. He's not in your way necessarily. He's just at the door, so y'all can just kind of leave. But he is upset and confused right now, like yelling at the bridge crew, like, "What are you fucking doing? I got him right fucking here." Well, if we're done here, I've got to pilot this thing. So some of us have to actually work. See you later, Ox Man. Bye. <laughs> He's arguing mostly with his headset now. He makes a half-hearted attempt to kind of stop you guys, like with like a hand gesture or something, but uh, nothing like pulling a gun on you or telling his men to fire. They're mostly confused and just looking at him, waiting for an order. And he seems to be caught up in arguing with the bridge crew. Let's do it. You enter the cockpit and leave the hangar without much issue and begin uh, you know, distancing yourselves from the Takare Bune as, as quickly as possible. So what happened over comms, Nihilus? It so sounds like you sweet-talked him. I did not. Oh. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Nihilus, are you good, bud? Uh, um, as good as I can be in this situation. Someone else uh, chimed in on the comms there. It sounded like Eric Manfield, I think. Who? Uh, I, uh, he's like a short guy, one year war vet, uh, black hair, bob cut. Oh, yeah, yeah, little Bob. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we know that guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. Yeah, you, you don't know him that way, but you actually do know the name of Eric Mansfield. What a shit name. It's probably meant to be Mansfield, which is an actual last name, but, you know, Gundam. Yep. Got it. Got it. Sure. Uh, Eric Mansfield. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you know that name. He was in the Z he was he was in the Zeon Defense Force. He was a Royal Guard of Side Three back during the One Year War. The description mm -hmm. does not match what you just heard. Huh. He was like young twenties, maybe in, in the One Year War, but he he would not be that now. He would be a little bit older for sure. Um, he could probably be mid twenties, and you would not describe him as small. And his hair was not black. Well, from the description, I, I know he's talking about. I'm pissed that I'm, I owe this guy something now, essentially. <laughs> he was a snotty fucking brat. <laughs> he was, he was. 
You begin to distance yourselves from the Takare Bune. You have successfully escaped. You aim the shuttles bearing toward Zap 5 station, where you will hope to encounter James Ito and, uh, and Mags, hopefully. Behind you, you see the battle wrapping up in the Takare Bune's favor. Uh, hooks on the Takare Bune, these big anchor hooks, shooting into the Salamis to kind of drag it along the wreckage for salvage later. You know, just kind of big, big anchors, almost like fish hooks, dragging a fish behind it. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, it seems to be leaving now, though it still uh, hasn't let go of a large chunk of the Salamis. That is terrifying. It's a big ship. <laughs> it's a... Uh... Kind of crazy that we thought that we could blow that ship up now. And uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was worth a try, I guess. Hey, it would have worked, okay? Uh, I think we were a little right. too big for our britches, but okay. We hey, were, look, we we're so close. We, look, we can't, we can't give up. Uh, just, if being captured has taught us anything, it's that you know, the, the, I, you know, I'm not lying to you guys. They're here. They're doing something. Yeah, he's right. And I mean, hey, look at us. We got this far. We're fucking alive. Far away from that fucking thing that we thought we were going to die in about two or three hours ago. Yeah, but we didn't do anything. God, will you shut the fuck up? Easy now. What else were we supposed to do in there, huh? We did all we wanted. We tried our best. It didn't work. Get over it. I just don't even know what the point is. Nihilus. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to roll something. Yes. I would like you to make an awakening test. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yes, let's go. All right, <laughs> so how this works is uh, you roll under your current amount of awakening. Oh, that's not going to fucking work. I would need snake okay. eyes for that. No, no, you wait, roll a single d6. Oh, shit. Let's go. I have way more of a chance now. Yeah, and so try to do that now. Okay, I'm rolling. Or was it six? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn. Yeah. Uh, you, oh, can re uh, you can re-roll. You have two points. Do it. Do it. Um, do it. If you... The, okay, let me explain this. Yes. Awakening, every time I make you test it, it's going to be a, like a high point or a turning point of your character, like a milestone event of your character, or high energy, high emotion, things like that. Yes. Mm. I, I, it will trigger your awakening points, and I'll make you test it. Um, you got to roll under or equal, just like everything else, but with only one die. Mm -hmm. And if you succeed, your awakening points go to zero, and your new type point goes to one. You become a rank one new type. Oh, if you okay, fail, okay. your awakening goes to zero, and you do not gain a rank in new types. And in fact, the, when you fa when you fail, you can never become a new type. You oh, are no that sucks. No! Okay. Roll again. I'm going to have to re-roll that. Feel free to use as many as you want. I'm, I'm hogging the points. I'm, yeah, I'm re-rolling that with one of the points. Okay. Go for it. Give me another one. Oh, please. I got a one! Yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go. So that goes back down to zero, and you are now a new type rank one. You yell this outburst, and you feel a pressure at the back of your head slightly, and you want to commit to this way of thinking, this aggressive impulse. Oh, fuck. No, so, uh, please, in, uh, please do so. Hey, take it easy, man. Are, are you all right? Why should I take it easy? This whole thing was a bust. Capri's right, but I don't like how she's dealing with it. Uh, look, the whole thing wasn't a bust, okay? We, we saved some people. We saved we got a some fucking information. child. Look at him. He's scared out of his mind. Hey. He's still a living being. We did something. And we're all still alive. Look, we, 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 we survived to live another day, all right? And, and we can take down the Takari Bune, you know? We I have more information. Make sure I'm fucking what? That they're stronger, better than us? At least we know what we're dealing with now. They have seven ace pilots. What do we have? Well, we were able to escape those ace pilots in a fucking tin can. They weren't even looking for us. Yeah, because we outsmarted them. You're delusional. We all pulled together and we did it. Whatever. Look, this is one of our earliest missions as a team. I'm not even listening anymore. <laughs> I feel like you guys showed a lot of promise. I feel like we can, we can accomplish a lot if we just 
don't go at each other's fucking throats like this. This isn't the way of dealing with this. After that, a uh, awkward silence begins to set in. Um, despite multiple attempts by Pan to kind of break it, it just resettles each and every time. It is a very, very quiet, solemn ride back to the Zap 5 station. Dead Set Medium. Good.